right guys and welcome to Tierra Tuesday um, with Debbie's Rusty Brush. I'm Debbie, I'm the owner and artist here and today what we're going to do is make um, some little signs for my booth and we're going to have them be fall inspired. Now I went to the dollar store and I got these cute little chalkboards buck piece so I've got some of these and I've got some of these little A-frame chalkboards and we're going to use those for these quick little signs. Um, and I've got a stencil here, Not a, I've got stencils. I've also got this redesigned by Prima Thankful Autumn and much of this is too big for our little signs so we'll save those for some others but I did cut off all of the things that are going to be little enough to embellish with. So that is what we're going to work on today. Uh okay, so I am just taking some um, oh, dark antiquing wax and antiquing the wood that is on uh, both of these different style of chalkboard. Just painting it on with a brush and then wiping it off um, with a towel uh, and it leaves a nice stained wood effect. Now I'm just taking some DIY clay-based paint and I'm painting this chalkboard in apothecary. And um, some of them I will leave as chalkboards, some of them we are going to paint. And so as I'm painting this, I will put two coats on just to have good coverage on it. Um, and then I'm going to be st stenciling across the different uh, chalkboards. So this one, it says thankful. I'm going to take some transfers and just get some transfers on there. So you just cut out what you're looking to use and you rub it on with a stick. And then you slowly lift it off. If you have part of your transfer that is not sticking to your chalkboard, um, you can go ahead and put it back down and keep rubbing and then it will go down. Then just make sure that you burnish it at the end so that all of the edges are stuck down really, really good. Um, now one thing I could have done to these chalkboards that might have made it stick a little better would have been to put a clear coat over the top of the chalkboard um, as a base and then clear coat after. And I chose to just put the transfers onto the chalkboard base and then I clear coated after my sign was finished. And on camera, you can't see this really close um, because some of these colors are darker. If you want them to show up better, um, then go ahead and paint your chalkboard a color that these would stand off on. Um, when you're up close to these in person, you can see the leaves. Uh, the lighter flowers, you can tell, definitely um, are... Uh, 
on there and you can see them, but that leaf is a little darker. You can see it when you're right there with it. It's not showing up real great on camera. Um, so if you've got things that you want to have show up that is darker, you can paint the chalkboard before adding your transfers. And I'm just layering them on um, top of each other and making it look uh, the way that I want to. So um, you can use transfers as they come, or you can cut them into separate pieces and do um, a arrangement that you do for yourself. So they uh, have the ability to look just like they do coming out of the package, or they have the ability to look like you want them to look. Um, and so they can be completely different from what other people do with the same transfer. Now you notice that the transfer here has black lettering, and that is why I went ahead and painted the chalkboard on this, because I wanted that lettering to show up, and against the black background, it was not going to do that. Um, and as you can tell, I do have it running down over some of the flower transfers, and that is just what you do as you think about your layout before you start putting things on. Because had I put these words on and then gone to put my flower transfers on there, um, I would have covered up the words. And so you just have to think of the order that you want things when you go to layer them on. Alrighty, and then here is a picture of the three that I got completed in this session. So these are the ones that we got done today. And so great little shelf setters, pretty easy to do. Um, like I said, you can hand paint whatever you want on there, which I will do on some of these. And you can use um, stencils and you can use transfers, whatever you have on hand that you want to do. Um, they make stencils specifically for um, fall. I do not have any, so I do have to make it up as I go. And so that's what we've done here. I've used what I've had on hand until I can get some of those stencils. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. You have a good day and we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.